Let's talk about proper plank form and how to avoid common pitfalls. So the plank is an exercise that you can add a lot to. You can make it harder in many ways, and you'll see that over the course of this program. But none of that matters unless you get this down first. And I will see a lot of people who can plank for a very long time, I'm talking four minutes plus, but they're not in good form, or even advertisements for fitness equipment with people doing planks wrong. So don't do that, let's get this down first and then we can add complexity and time and all the things. So first, before we even come down to the plank, think about how to engage your core. If I were to tell you from a standing or kneeling position like I'm in, to engage your core, would you go like this? No, we're not at the club, right? You would not stick your butt back and arch your back. Instead, you would squeeze your glutes. If you had a tail, it'd be pointing down between your legs in line with the back of your legs like mine is, or if you're standing, align with the back of your heels. And here, we would be sucking up through an imaginary straw, right? Breathe, but, but pretend like you've got a blueberry or an imaginary straw that you're trying to suck up. You know what I mean, right? And then from here, we're gonna wrap these muscles around and up, okay? So if somebody were to come and punch us, we'd be braced for that punch. If someone were to come and try to move us, they wouldn't be able to because that's how strong our core is. So that's what we're now going to take down onto the ground for the plank position. Okay, so come on down. Place your elbows directly below your shoulders and forearms shoulder width apart. Turn your palms to face toward each other with your palms or hands in a fist or hands open. I'll let you decide what works best for you. Step your feet back into a plank position. For this plank, I'll show you with my feet hip width apart. Know that wider would be easier and closer feet would be harder. So the hardest variation of this plank, just stationary, would be feet and legs together. Ooh, it burns. Okay, so feet hip width apart or whatever length or width works best for you at this point. Straighten your legs, squeeze your glutes, and now engage your core. That means our hips aren't up here. They're not arched, right? We've got that nice core engagement that we just were talking about. Press your forearms firmly into the floor. Open up the space between your shoulder blades and look at the floor while still tucking your chin back. Now, why do I say that? Well, because there's some common pitfalls here. One is, like I mentioned, arched back, hips too high. So we've covered that. Another one is dropping through our shoulders. So press your forearms down, open up that space between your shoulder blades. And another one is our neck. Even if we're looking down, our head is dropping. So tuck your chin back. We've got nice alignment all the way through our spine with this exercise. So that's the standard plank form. Now, if you are just starting out and need to modify this, that's totally fine. All the same rules apply, except you'll be on your knees. As you get stronger and stronger with this, then you can try pressing up into your plank. I recommend starting with your feet wider apart. And as you get stronger with that form, walk them closer together.